zoax.net. Lesson 13, Factoring Polynomials Part 2. Some polynomials cannot be made monic without introducing fractional coefficients, which we do not want. For example, in the polynomial 2x squared plus 5x plus 2, we cannot factor out the 2. However, as we will see, this polynomial can be factored without resorting to fractions. When confronted with a quadratic polynomial that is not monic, we consider the more general factoring formula. Here we have the general product of two linear factors, ax plus b and cx plus d. When we multiply them out, we get acx squared plus the quantity ad plus bc times x plus bd. This looks like a mess, but there's a simpler way of looking at it. Multiplying the x squared and constant coefficients, we get the product ABCD, and the x coefficient is the sum of two factors of this product. So to factor the polynomial, we multiply the x squared and constant coefficients. Then we find the integer pairs that multiply to this value, and check whether the sum of any of these pairs is equal to the x coefficient. Once we find our sum ands AD and BC, we split the linear term into two pieces and our polynomial becomes ACX squared plus ADX plus BCX plus BD. Then we can factor out AX from the first two terms and B from the last two terms to get AX times the quantity CX plus D plus B times the quantity CX plus D. Notice that we now have a CX plus D term that we can now factor out to get our final factorization AX plus B times CX plus D. Let's go back to our polynomial and apply this method. We have 2X squared plus 5X plus 2. First we multiply the X squared coefficient and constant term. That is 2 times 2 which gives us 4. The pairs of numbers whose product is 4 are 2 and 2, 1 and 4, negative 2 and negative 2, and negative 1 and negative 4. These sum to 4, 5, negative 4, and negative 5 respectively. So we take 1 plus 4 as the sum for the linear term. At this point we break the linear term into 1 and 4 and factor the first two and last two terms separately to get x times the quantity 2x plus 1 plus 2 times the quantity 2x plus 1. Notice that we have a 2x plus 1 term that we can factor out. Once we do this, we have our final factorization x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. We can use our prior product formulas to help us factor polynomials too. For example, if we have the cubic polynomial x to the third plus 8, we can use the sum of cubes formula to write this as x plus 2 times the quantity x squared minus 2x plus 4, since 8 is 2 to the 3. With this, we have pulled out a linear factor, and we can try to factor the remaining quadratic. To try to factor x squared minus 2x plus 4, we look at the integer pairs that multiply to 4. That is, 1 and 4, 2 and 2, negative 1 and negative 4, and negative 2 and negative 2. These sum to 5, 4, negative 5 and negative 4 respectively. We see that none of these sums is negative 2. This means that the polynomial cannot be factored and it is called irreducible over the integers. In general, it can be difficult to see how a polynomial can be factored. For this polynomial in x and y, it is not immediately clear whether it can be factored. In this case, we can try factoring a few of the terms at a time to see if a pattern emerges. In this example, we can factor 2y out of the first two terms like this. Then we see that 3x plus 2 can be factored out since the last two terms are just 3x plus 2 times negative 1. So we get 2y minus 1 times 3x plus 2. This is like the general product formula for binomials, but it is difficult to see the pattern at first.